One hit, one to paint. Um, video one of the series, first one, how to set up your spray gun. So what we do here, um, there are three valve adjustments on most guns. Uh, the first one is the cheetah valve down at the bottom. Uh, second one is the fluid tip, which is right in line with the needle. And then the, the third one is the fan size, and this is either on the back or on usually the left-hand side of your gun. We set, to set a gun up, we set all of these to the wide open position. That is anti-clockwise all the way out. The cheetah valve is not intended to be closed unless you are adjusting your pressure on the fly. We're not doing that. This is all the way out. This is your fluid tip. And then your, um, your fan width is all the way out. So it's going to give you a wide fan, a lot of fluid, a lot of air. Um, what we do now is we pull the trigger about halfway in. That's just enough to release the, the air, but no pain. So we're going to set our valve, our regulator here, to 22 pounds. So around about 22 pounds, that's where it should be sitting. That means that we've got just the right amount of uh, air coming through the gun. Uh, we have got our, um, our cap is set horizontally so that when we spray a pattern, it will be a vertical pattern. This is going to help us just to see how much paint we're getting out and what the fan shape is like. I'm going to do one more. The cap was just slightly crooked. OK. So what we can see here, um, the atomization around the edge is really good, but we can see a little bit of, um, of a dumbbell shape, thin in the middle, wet at each, each end. Uh, this indicates either too high pressure, our fan size is um, set too wide, or we can also adjust that down, which is the way we're going to do it. We're going to begin to wind in the, the fluid tip. Uh, the reason we do this is our, our dry film thickness on our paint is a lot thicker than a standard base coat. Uh, we use very uh, rich pigments, very rich binders. So what we're trying to do is cut this down a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to wind the um, fluid tip in one full turn. So that's one half and another half. And we're going to see exactly the same thing again. OK, what we've got here is we've totally eliminated this, this narrow waist, waistband. And we've got a nice oval. This is, this is a really good shape. It's very, very, very finely atomized on the edge. Um, so that's basically, in terms of our adjustments, is, is pretty much done. The last final adjustment we're going to do, we're going to actually turn our cap so that the cap points vertical, which gives us a horizontal pattern. This is so that we know that we don't have too much pain coming out of the gun. We're going to now spray a vertical, uh, horizontal pattern Keep the trigger in for one, two, three, and see how much paint we have running down. We're trying to eliminate any runs at all, any sags, um, so that you guys know that you're putting just the right amount of paint on. One, two, three. I'm just going to have a look at that. So at the moment, we've got no sags at all. So this is basically what we're looking at. If you can see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually take the fluid tip out that one turn again. One, two, three. And you can see we've got that shape back again, which is what we don't want. But we're starting to get a very, very dense buildup of paint here. It's actually starting to sag. So we're going to take it as simple as it is. Just take it one full turn in. We'll narrow our fan down. It'll get this under control. And we know we're not laying on too much paint. One. Two, so we're getting about a nice six to eight inch spread right there. Uh, we'll just do a quick test just to see about tying it right. Three inch overlap, nice even spray pattern. Uh, so that's it basically. Start off with all of your adjustments wide open and gradually just take your fluid tip in until you start to get this nice pattern here. Um, second most important point is make sure that your gun is clean. Uh, if you have a little bit of dirt in your cap, a little bit of uh, dirt in your nozzle, um, it, can, it, can, it can put heaviness on one side, lightness on the other side. You're never going to get under control. So just pretend like this is your livelihood of this gun. Make sure that the tip is clean, the cap is clean, the needle's clean, everything's seated and in good condition. Uh, the third tip is to make sure that you have a compressor that can deliver 
enough CFM to run an uh, HVLP gun, which is high volume, low pressure. They use a lot of air. Um, the little Kanke compressors, uh, I'm not going to keep this thing running at 22 pounds for even one stroke. So you want something about, you know, 13, 14 horsepower and up uh, and, and a good CFM. So just, you know, when you're looking to purchase a compressor, just ask the technician there, see what they, uh, see what they suggest. And that's it. And we'll see you in the next video.